They say pictures and videos are worth a thousand words. However, these clips are worth a thousand times that. Some are mind-bending to see. They'll force you to do more than just one take. Whichever tickles your fancy the most, you're guaranteed to be entranced by the videos we have for you today. But they're not without mystery. You'll be saying, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And that's a good thing. The wait is over if you need a fix of what the heck. 15 Mysterious Things You've Never Seen Before, Part 3. Last Man in the World A person claiming to be a time traveler stuck in the year 2027 is determined to prove skeptics wrong with his posts. He shares eerie footage of a deserted city in a bid to show he's the last person on Earth and the TikToker has racked up millions of followers by sharing his solo adventures as a so-called time traveler by filming abandoned places, buildings, and cars. He's even previously warned that human extinction is just a few years away. Yikes! Although many people are fascinated by the idea of changing the past or seeing the future before it's due, no person has ever demonstrated the kind of back-and-forth time travel seen in science fiction or proposed a method of sending a person through significant periods of time that wouldn't destroy them on the way. And, as physicist Stephen Hawking pointed out, the best evidence we have that time travel is not possible is that we have not been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. That's probably why people have their doubts over the TikToker's outlandish claims, believing it be fake and that he's simply visiting places when they're quiet. Whether you believe it or not, either way, we'll have to wait a few years to see if he's right. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. When you open up the files in your brain under mysterious things you've never seen before, an image like this might be the most unsettling. This couple's distinctive features appear in this photograph completely erased. But why is a face with no features so disturbing? Maybe it's because facial recognition so deeply embedded into our subconscious that the inability to distinguish any features alerts us in some way. Maybe it's from fear sprung out of the inability to clearly identify and interpret something. Who knows? There's something skewed with what we see, something deviating from your mental model of what a face looks like. That makes us perceive it as something unknown, and what's unknown is also perceived as unpredictable and induces uneasiness and discomfort. So it's deeper than we think, perhaps. But on the other hand, is this just a glitch in the matrix? Maybe the person who took the picture of the faceless couple captured something very real, a mystery without a face. Any thoughts? Leave a comment with the hashtag Sweet Topic. <laughs> South African Mermaid For centuries, sailors of the high seas have reported mermaid sightings, but without scientific proof. These fishy tales have all been categorized as hearsay, folklore, and foolish misinterpretation. While marine biologists and oceanographers have yet to confirm the existence of merpeople, one bizarre viral clip currently has the internet captivated and hopeful. According to the video, the mythical creature had washed up on a beach in South Africa. In the surreal footage, viewers can see a half-human, half-fish-like creature lying on the sandy beach while onlookers gather to examine the sea oddity. The apparent mermaid appears to still be alive, with its arms and fins still moving. But nobody on the beach attempts to move the fantastic creature back into the water. Is this the greatest hoax ever? Not so, said the local police. They received no reports of a mermaid that was washed by the beach, nor reports of a child bitten by a fish, authorities said. People doubted the mermaid story in the comment thread of the YouTube video as well. If that was real, it would be one of the greatest finds in history. You would think that one or more in the crowd would recognize the significance of that and call in the authorities to investigate. The Gumbu Chitin, also known as the Giant Western Fiery Chitin or Giant Pacific Chitin, is the largest of all, 14 inches and capable of reaching a weight of more than four and a half pounds. But its nickname is Meatloaf with Teeth, if you search around the shoreline of the North Pacific, you might get lucky and spot the wandering meatloaf. It trudges along coasts and scrapes algae off rocks with its small but incredibly gritty teeth. In analyzing this bizarre animal's hardy chompers, scientists found that its stylus 
The long, hollow structure that connects the teeth to the soft membrane below actually contains tiny particles of a rare iron-based mineral that until now had only been found in actual rocks. This is what gives these toothy meat loaves their bite. It makes the root of their teeth light but remarkably strong and is among the hardest materials ever found in nature. Studying how this integrates into chitin teeth could help advance 3D printing technology. The natural world is a great place for scientists to look for inspiration on how to solve problems of engineering and design. Having ultra-hard materials connected to soft underlying structures like in these kind of teeth is an interesting mechanical feat. <laughs> ice Volcano This ice volcano in upstate New York is located outside of a historical home turned in. Situated in front of the inn is Glen Iris Fountain. An ice volcano is a conical mound of ice formed over a terrestrial lake via the eruption of water and creates formations that loosely mimic the shape and activity of volcanoes. In the winter, when temperatures fall below freezing is when the ice volcanoes begin to form. When the pond below the Glen Iris Fountain freezes, the spray from the fountain allows a small amount of ice to accumulate around the fountain. If the temperatures maintain below freezing, the ice will continuously build up. The more days that go by with freezing temperatures, the taller the ice volcano will become. It's been known to reach up to 50 feet tall. However, it can only be as tall as the water from the fountain can spray. If the ice volcano reaches the height of the fountain, the ice will start to fill in the volcano itself. When the ice volcano is formed, there will be plenty of people gathered around. The fountain and volcano can be seen as you're approaching the inn, so there's no way you'll miss it. The best time to see it is when there's been a long stretch of cold days. The more consecutive days below zero, the higher the volcano will be. <laughs> Deadly Dried Out Ocean This is a place where the temperatures regularly hit 140 degrees Fahrenheit in the sandy soil and where the only signs of life are the skeletons of desiccated trees and camels shading under giant, stranded boats. On the Kazakh-Uzbek border, surrounded by miles of toxic desert, lies an island, or at least something that used to be an island. Known as Rebirth Island, in English, it was once home to a vibrant fishing village fringed by turquoise lagoons. Back when the Aral Sea was the fourth largest in the world and abundant with fish, but after years of neglect, the waters have receded and the sea has turned to dust, and the rivers that led it were diverted to irrigate cotton fields. Today, a layer of salty sand, riddled with carcinogenic pesticides, is all that remains of the ancient oasis. Since the 1970s, the island has been implicated in a number of sinister incidents. In 1971, the corpses of two missing fishermen were found nearby, drifting in their boat. No one knows why. Then in 1988, 50,000 antelope which had been grazing nearby dropped dead in the space of an hour. Now the island has swallowed up so much of the sea that it swelled to 10 times its original size and is connected to the mainland by a peninsula. It's one of the deadliest places on the planet. <laughs> Hornet moth You might not want to get that close to this insect until you get more practice in identifying these moths, just in case it's a hornet. These moths are incredibly convincing mimics of stinging insects. They don't look at all like moths. They have lost the scales on their wings and fly during the day. Some of them even produce a small buzz as they fly. The level of mimicry varies from species to species, but on the wing, it's almost impossible to distinguish these moths from wasps. They have no actual ability to sting or bite. The adult moths have only sucking mouth parts and no jaws. It's not human predators that the moths have to fool, but birds and other insects that might find these moths a tasty snack. How can you tell if you're looking at a moth and not a wasp or a bee? The antennae are a hint. Moth antennae are long and feathery. These moths also don't have the narrow wasp waist common to actual stinging insects. Their abdomen is thickly joined to their thorax. And if you're close enough to see the mouth, you'll notice a long coiled proboscis on it rather than chewing jaws. But looking at it for the first time, it's an easy mistake. Tarzan of Karachi A man from Pakistan has become known as the Tarzan of Karachi 
after spending the last eight years of his life living in a makeshift treehouse. He became somewhat of an overnight social media sensation after footage of his unusual home went viral. But he didn't do it by choice. After losing both his parents, he was too poor to afford any kind of conventional housing and after a while of living on the streets, he decided to build his own house in the only place where no one would disturb or drive him away, in a tree and public property. He built his tree house out of bamboo, wood, and old doors and put up fabric to protect himself from wind and rain. In addition to a temporary bed, he also was able to put a sink to wash his face in it every morning, a small oven to cook and heat water, and even a small battery-powered light and a charger for his phone. After seeking help from the authorities on several occasions but being ignored, the Karachi tree man, as he's known in Pakistan's largest city, makes a living washing cars, sweeping the entrances of houses, and doing any kind of work he can find. Most of his clients pay him with water and food, and an unfortunate as this story is, he's become a local sensation for his determination and craftiness. <laughs> to solve crowd tightropes, in many ways, this little hamlet is like so many others scattered across this remote region of Russia. The villagers face harsh winters, tough days of working, the unforgiving land, and young people leaving the mountains for the promise of big city adventures. Tucked away in Russia's southern mountains, the village called Tsokra 1 does have one unique claim to fame. Nearly every single able-bodied villager can walk the tightrope. While no one here knows exactly how the tradition began, the most popular story is that more than a hundred years ago, the village's young men, tired of trekking across the valleys that separated them from their love interests in a neighboring community, created them. So the men strung up a rope between the mountains and, after first pulling themselves across, eventually began to walk the rope, displaying their prowess for their waiting admirers. So romantic. But some people believe a more likely explanation is that bad weather forced the villagers to come up with a quick fix for unrepaired footbridges. However, the practice began, it remains a constant in the village today. While its population has fallen from around 3,000 in the 90s to below 400 today, all of those who remain are able to walk the wire. <laughs> Hand-carved tunnel This tunnel, carved along the side of and through a mountain, opened to traffic in 1977. It took five years to build it too. 4,000 hammers, 12 tons of steel, and quite a lot of chisels. And it was carved out by only 13 people. Can you believe that? And it's one of the most famous tunnels in the world. Guliang Tunnel is almost a mile long, 16 feet tall and three feet wide, located high in the Tianhang Mountains in China. Nowadays, the tunnel is an extremely scenic route and is a key destination on the Chinese tourism map. And of course, it became a tourist attraction when China opened its borders to international tourists. The tunnel also features 30 windows of various sizes and shapes to enjoy the marvelous views. And even more unbelievable is that before its construction in 1972, the only access to civilization was some steep, narrow stairs embedded in the mountainside, a treacherous, slippery climb even for the most nimble and sure-footed of the villagers. So, stick to the road. But still, this tunnel has been dubbed as the road that does not tolerate any mistakes. The tunnel is only realistically enough for one-way traffic. The road spares only a few feet on either side as you pass through it. Congena Grapes What do you do if you want to prolong the shelf life of your favorite seasonal fruits, like grapes? Putting the fruit in the fridge can help extend its lifespan for a week or so beyond the fruit bowl. Longer than that, you would certainly consider freezing them but who wants that? In northern Afghanistan, however, there is a surprising traditional practice that very effectively preserves the local fruits of summer and early autumn into the starker winter months and beyond. The English transliteration for this method is known as kangina. Looking like loaves of sourdough bread from a little distance, each kangina is made of two layers of wet clay-rich mud, with each layer being molded into a bowl shape and then put into the sun to bake. When each pair of rustic earthenware bowls is completely dried, ripe, pert, unbruised fruit, most Afghans prefer to use certain varieties of grapes, are put inside and then sealed with another serving of mud to form a single closed airtight vessel. The kangina is then stored in a cool cellar-like space away from direct sunlight, with some people preferring to actually bury the vessels underground. 
The people here have used this method for hundreds of years. Sacred River of Foam This is a phenomenon that takes place on many lakes and rivers. And for the past few years now, visuals of people offering prayers to the sun by standing in the frothy, foamy waters of the River Yamuna in India have caught global attention. What causes the froth? The presence of phosphates and surficants in untreated sewage from communities nearby is a major reason behind frothing in the river, according to experts. While these two components comprise 1%, the remaining 99% is just air and water. Untreated sewage may contain soap detergent particles. The other sources are industrial effluents, organic matter from decomposing vegetation, and the presence of a special bacteria. These foam-producing molecules have one end that repel water and another that attracts it, and they work to reduce the surface tension on the surface of the water. These foam bubbles are lighter than water, so they float on the surface as a thin film that gradually accumulates. Short-term exposure can lead to skin irritation and allergies. If ingested, these chemicals may cause gastrointestinal problems and diseases like typhoid. Long-term exposure to heavy metals and industrial pollutants can cause neurological issues and hormonal imbalances. Dinner Bites Back There are so many people around the world who don't hesitate to eat raw meat or insects in the name of authenticity. Similarly, Japan is a country that's also proved that raw fish actually benefits our health. Although, despite this discovery, the most you might have heard about is sushi, a dish that's now made its way all around the world. However, did you know that some Japanese restaurants also serve whole fish or other seafood on their menu, either raw or even alive? In a clip that's gone viral, a fish served on a platter opened its mouth. Yeah, you heard that right. Apparently, the incident happened at a restaurant in Japan. Netizens were absolutely shocked after watching the video. In the clip, a platter decorated with salad leaves and fish can be seen. The moment the man was about to eat the fish, it opened its mouth and even grabbed the chopstick. And as you can see, we're not kidding. It's called Warasubo. It's an eel-like fish, and it's reportedly as delicious as it is hard to look at. Nearly blind, with translucent skin and featuring small but pointy teeth, it can be consumed either grilled or dried or served whole and very much alive. Bon Appetit! Dead Man's Mushroom This unusual fungus looks as if someone buried beneath the forest floor is trying to make a last-ditch attempt to free themselves. These swollen, blackened fingers reaching out of the soil are known as Dead Man's Finger. It's a mushroom. So if you have black, club-shaped mushrooms at or near the base of a tree, you may have it. A clump of mushrooms looks like a human hand. It may be pale or bluish with a white tip at first. The fungus matures to dark gray and then black. The fungus shows a preference for apple, maple, beech, locust, and elm trees, but it can also invade a variety of ornamental trees and shrubs used in home landscapes. But if you do find them, consider it a warning. The fungus that causes dead man's finger only invades dead or dying wood. This fungus may indicate a serious condition that needs your immediate attention. It's the result of a problem rather than the cause because it never invades healthy wood. It can also invade damaged roots which later develop root rot. And sadly, trees infected with the disease don't last. The good news is that dead man's mushrooms are like natural sanitation engineers that clean up the dead organic matter by breaking it down into a form that plants can absorb as nutrients. Airfish Boats that can fly have long been a dream for many engineers. Indeed, being able to combine flight and floating to create a hybrid that can tackle both the skies and the seas does sound very cool. The Airfish 8 may just be that hybrid. The marine craft is specifically designed to take off and land on water, avoiding the need for a runway. The vessel has been designed for logistics, transport, tourism, and maritime patrol operations. The flying ship is powered by a V8 car engine that allows it to fly as high as 23 feet over the water and reach top speeds of 122 miles an hour. It's made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and its design standards comply with international maritime organization regulations. The main fuselage is similar to that of conventional aircraft. 
The crew section is positioned in front, while the passenger and baggage compartments are located in the middle and rear. And the Airfish 8 has an overall length of 56 feet and a wingspan of just under 50. But it's a low waterborne drought which enables operations and birthing in shallow waters close to the shoreline with minimal support or infrastructure. The marine craft can carry two crew members and up to eight passengers. Mountain Waterfall Near this airport in Meiringen, Switzerland, the water of the river Holchbach plunges down almost a thousand feet. The upper part is a vertical fall of 460 feet. After that, it still keeps falling. The waterfall is the pride of the community as well. Due to its strategic location at the foot of several alpine passes, the area around Meiringen was settled at least in the early Middle Ages. It was the only market town in the valley with a yearly fair starting in 1417. In 1490, this became a weekly market. Traders from the lowlands of Lombardy came here to purchase cattle, horses, and cheese. And because of this waterfall, it's become a tourist hotspot. Waterfalls are happy places. Inevitably, the forest surrounding a waterfall is bound to be lush and full of life. They're beautiful, wild, and constantly changing. Waterfalls create an abundance of negative ions, and negative ions are awesome. They're odorless, tasteless, and invisible molecules that we inhale in abundance in certain environments. Once they reach our bloodstream, negative ions are believed to produce biochemical reactions that increase levels of mood chemical serotonin, helping to alleviate depression, relieve stress, and boost our daytime energy. You think you've seen it all, and then videos like these come along, and we're all the better for it. The more you know, right? So while you're here, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and enjoy some more great content.